Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the Technic Prism Princess Powders. Now, I'm going to be very careful because I actually dropped mine on a tiled floor and one of them broke, which is a bit strange because there's four in there. So I've left the cover on. Um, as you can see, this is four baked highlighters. We've got a shade Fairy Sparkle Dust, Cosmic Cotton Candy, Solar Sister and Goddess of the Galaxy. Now, what made me really curious when I saw these in a local shop was that a few of them looked like shades from the Metal Crush palette. But this is currently on Amazon for $2.97. I think I paid $2.99 and I think the highest retail price I found for it was £6. So, significant price difference if this turns out to be a dupe and you had been looking at the Metal Crush palette but thinking, not for that price then this might be worth checking out. So let's get some swatches going on before I put this on my face. So we've got Fairy Sparkle Dust. Just like that. Cosmic Cotton Candy is the broken one. So I'm just going to be very careful dabbing at that. And then Solar Sister, to be honest with you, it looks very similar to Cosmic Cotton Candy. Okay, it's a bit more peachy and less pink. And then Goddess of the Galaxy is just a kind of white sparkly one. So, quick nosy at the Metal Crush palette. So, I'm going to start with Gamma Ray, which is the kind of goldy orange one, which I think is going to be pretty similar to these two. It is far more shiny got to give it that. The shimmer in it seems to be a little bit on the chunkier side. Um, but tone wise, I would say we're relatively close. So then Helix, which is the white shade, I think is going to be similar to Fairy Sparkle Dust. And again, I'll just give the Fairy Sparkle Dust a little bit of a heavier swatch. Yeah, so again, it just seems to be the size of the shimmer particles are a bit bigger in the Kat Von D. But it is still a very pretty um, palette. But maybe can't use the word dupe. I was just curious and I wanted to see them side by side. But um, what colour do I want to use today? I think I'm going to have a play with a bit of Goddess of the Galaxy and a bit of Solar Sister and see how they look. I was about to pick that up to use the mirror in it but that would have went horribly wrong. And these are baked so they're not quite as soft as the Kat Von D. I guess it still stands, if you were looking at Kat Von D and not liking the price or maybe thinking nice colours, a little bit over the top, good alternative, but not dupe. So yeah, definitely a much more subtle um, highlighted effect there. And then I'm just going to grab a clean eye eyeshadow brush. And um, I'm going to grab Fairy Sparkle Dust to put on my lids, just to liven that up a tiny little bit. That's pretty. I do like that. Okay, so definitely nowhere near as extreme as the Kat Von D, but still a very pretty highlighter palette. I want a little bit more on my cheeks. I'm going to try a little bit of the Cosmic Cotton Candy. Um, very light handed because I am pale. I think that could go scary if I went heavy handed with it. Okay, that is an incredibly pretty highlighter palette. 
like I said, nowhere near as glittery as the Metal Crush, but still definitely enjoying it. So I'm just going to wear this out and about today, and I guess we'll see how it lasts. It is just about 20 past 11, and yeah, I'll come back later and we'll see how much highlight is left. It is now 10 to 9. That was not a good shot on my phone, you could barely see anything. So... I am back and I would say I still have a very nice highlight going on. It's not as blingy as some other highlights but it's still definitely there. It's still definitely pretty and the eyes are still definitely quite pretty as well. So you know when I bought this I thought it was going to be a dupe for the Metal Crush. It's not because it's nowhere near as blingy but actually it's still a really nice highlighter palette. Especially considering that you can pick it up for three pounds. So, all in all, I am definitely saying that this is a good buy. I mean, it's got a nice range of shades when they're not broken, because I dropped mine on a tile floor. Um, it's got a mirror. It's actually, I would say, a lot more compact for travelling than the Cad Fun Day one. I don't know why I'm still comparing them. I've obviously decided that they're nothing like each other, but in my head I'm still thinking I'm doing a cam comparison between the two. Uh, but all in all, I'm really happy that I picked this up. Um, I think I might pick up a second one to put in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway pile for whenever we reach that landmark. Um, but yeah, all in all, definitely a good buy. Loving this. So if you've got any questions, please leave them down below and I will get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It does really help me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.